Okay, uh, we'll walk 39. Can't sleep again, so just going to, going to walk down to Tesco. It'll just be a short five minute walk, I think. Too much to do today. Uh, I don't know, uh, if I can get the basics done today then I'll probably do a longer walk on Friday, no on Friday and Saturday. I think the funny thing about yesterday's walk is, okay, it was a longer walk, one of the longest walks I've done, but it was interesting because this has been about, what, 15 days where we've constantly been doing this, so here we are on Wednesday the 1st of, October, uh, 1st of August. And I've been doing this every day for the last 15. It's nice to get out this time in the morning because the grass is always wet and cold and wet. So again, it's all about skin tolerance. Uh, it can only be a few minutes, uh, only about five minutes, but I suppose it still constitutes. The fact that I'm still getting out here. So it's quite nice to do it. Um, not all the familiar sights, but I suppose what was nice about yesterday is seeing something different. Different uh, changes. Change the scenery was good. Uh, looking down into the valley. Um, Okay, you know, I just need to pick up the essentials, if not, I'd be in the fields. Uh, I think I'm warning of rest before, uh, before work. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Easily, either way, I will make up for it in later days by doing longer walks. And I dare say, if I could walk to work, uh, walk barefoot to work, I'd uh, happily would. But it's interesting, the skin tolerance is improving, and you see a big difference even just by blitzing it in the last two weeks. Uh, It was uh, again. There's a lot to be learned from yesterday. Whereby, it's when there's two of you walking, you're less likely to care because you've got the distraction of others. Whereby, you do it alone, you feel very you feel a bit vulnerable, and you tend to be paying attention to other people rather than yourself. Um, I still have no idea what self-love means. Uh, I suppose there's just self-respect. I guess I'm bad now. I mean, to me, this is all about simple pleasure. It's all about the gr I don't know about grounding. Um, I think for me, it's all about the challenge as well. Yep. God knows what people must think about there, but. Um, it was interesting just to, it's, I don't know about self-love, I mean, personally, yes, I, I I'm trying to understand it, but to be honest, when it comes to even meditation, to me it seems to be all about focused on breathing, rather than uh, something that I'll have to work on, I guess. It's all about trying to relax. To me, it seems to, uh, to be all about trying to relax. Um, or take away, focus on one thing. Focus on your purely on your breathing. Well, that's what it seems to be. Or to me, it seems to be you have to focus on one, pure all your energy into one thing. Uh, I'm dyspraxic, it's impossible to put your mind <laughs> into all that. For a dyspraxic to me for a dyspraxic to meditate is easier said than done. Simple as. 
because nine times out of ten your mind will drift and your mind will drift everywhere and your mind just that's sprouts here. Uh, I love it, just at the end.